Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. A constant sideways movement here and we may remain in a corrective, um, yeah, in a corrective price structure overall. I think we still have a, a good chance to still be in that B wave that we discussed. For anybody who's new on the channel, we zoom out first. Expectations here for Ethereum are that we rallied in a wave one between the 10th of March and the yeah, 16th, 15th of April, we are now in a wave two. And the wave two as per Elliott wave is a corrective pattern, which means wave one is in line with the higher degree trend, which means the trend is up. We're in an uptrend. The wave two is correcting this uptrend and a corrective wave typically would consist of a three wave move. Whereas the wave one was an impulse, a five wave move. The wave two is a three wave move and consists of the so-called A wave, a B wave and a C wave. The resistance or standard Fibonacci resistance for the B wave is between 1973 and 2067. My strong leaning is that as long as we stay below 2067, we're going to go deeper in a wave two in a C wave. Support is between 1533 and 1754. I did bring the 1845 level on the chart a week ago or so, because this is often relevant for an A wave. And you can see the A wave reacted to this Fibonacci level. And we saw a bounce. Um, but overall, when this wave two gets completed, I would like to see it go to either the 50% the 61.8% or the 78.6 FIB level, only below 1533, which is that 78.6 FIB level, I would need to consider a different scenario. Yeah, um, And I would then get a bit more concerned about new bear market lows. But that is that story hasn't been written yet. Now, looking at this structure here, um, we are watching currently for a few possible outcomes. Don't get me wrong. All of, the, all of these possible outcomes that can unfold here in this sort of bubble, yeah, the B wave bubble, um, they are all part of the same scenario. It's just, you know, how is it going to play out in the subdivisions, in the subwave structures? So either we get, uh, well, either we have here B wave with question marks. So either it was like A wave down, B wave up, and we come down now in a C wave, a more imminent sell off scenario. And that's absolutely likely, especially the longer this sideways action takes, a direct sell-off um, gets more and more preferred, okay? At the moment, I still have a very slight leaning towards short-term higher in B before we come down. But the direct sell-off scenario would look like that. You know? We would have completed already a wave one of the wave C. The wave two is was also in, yeah? And we're now in a wave three of the wave C. Looks a bit choppy could be because the C wave might be an ending diagonal. Okay. Um, but it's also possible, as I said, that we get this higher B wave. Th this is all possible. Um, but above 2067, a more aggressive breakout to the upside, maybe already a third wave rally, yeah, uh, is getting more likely. And then the wave two would have been already in, but I'm not focusing on this primarily. Again, at the moment, all of my scenarios that I follow most, you know, all the likely scenarios will lead to another sell-off in a C wave. Um, to re I cannot really give a target yet for a C wave, but I'd be looking at roughly the golden ratio here around 1663, maybe a bit lower. Um, but first we need to get a confirmed top in the B wave. So these are the options. You know, it could even be that this B wave is unfolding as a triangle would play out over the weekend as sideways. Again, um, B waves can be very diverse, very, you know, they can vary a lot. So my preference is eventually to go lower in C, but the B has a little bit more space to the upside, which it doesn't need to use. Yeah, and I think this is everything I can tell you at the moment about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.